G'day crew, Fraz here. I've had a few requests from people wanting to know what mods I've actually done for the FJ for touring. Uh, so I thought I'd do a bit of a walk around video for you, just try and explain it the best I possibly can. If you've got any questions, please put them in the comments below. Um, and if you feel a need, yeah, I'd, I'd also like some subscribers, because I haven't got any. Okay, I've got a 2012 FJ Cruiser. We've actually had this one since new. It's been an absolutely fantastic car. Covered 150,000 k so far, not a single issue. Up front, we've got a TJM bull bar. In the bar, we've got a VRS winch. I've hidden the solenoids up under here, on the other side. The controller for the uh, winch comes through the bar. Steady light bars. Suspension wise, we've got Icon Stage 1 which I've been extremely happy with considering some of the corrugated roads we've been on it just finds them right out tyre wise Mickey Thompson ATZ P3s again very happy with those on the side we've got a TJM snorkel roof rack it's made by Tradesman Oval all aluminium another steady light bar up there all the mirrors and door handles have been blacked out as have the wheels. I've got custom rock rails. They are made by a local fabricator so they're not an off the shelf item. A few of the places we've been. Okay, around the back of the car I've got a couple of dish lappers here. This is Digger and Mac who refuses to look at the camera. Up on the roof, Tradesman Oval roof rack. It's got the mounts for the Max tracks permanently up there. Awning, ORS fridge slide with a cover on it so the dogs don't wound themselves. In the back's the SeaTech DC to DC charger. Heyman Reese tow bar. Got the old Ando plug there. Underneath, Ride Pro springs with airbags. And there's some of those protectors to protect the. Uh, shafts of the shocks on the rear passenger side another view of the awnings those awnings are uh, got a brand name up here normally bit of a hot tip for you if you want that off a bit of thinners on a rag and it literally just wipes straight off got the bandy mount there which is very popular on the FJ cruisers another look at the rock rails underneath we've got the replacement tank from Long Ranger that's been absolutely fantastic that's 115 litres so that improves the 75 litres that the standard FJ comes with in the particular 2012 model later models obviously had dual tanks moving inside the FJ got a scan gauge there mounted up on the steering column that's just velcroed on there plugs into the OBD port the throttle controller that's really good for towing. Prodigy P2 trailer brake controller. The mod we've done recently is the torque converter lockup. That has been fantastic. We were getting around about 20 litres per 100 for the fuel economy towing. It's pulled it down to around 16, 17 litres. Uh, UHF mounted the centre console. Got a couple of tyre pressure monitors up here. That one's for the van. This one's for the car. They're just El Cheapo $20 ones off eBay. Had them for about 18 months. Haven't had a problem. Really good value. Thanks for watching. Uh, as I said before, if you'd like to subscribe, I'd really appreciate it. Um, and yeah, hopefully I'll be able to get your video to you again soon. The next one I'm going to do was for our camper, which is a RV Vista crossover. Very light camper. Uh, basically, again, set up for touring. Uh, it'll pack up and set up in about 10-15 minutes max. So keep your eye out for that one. Thanks for looking. Bye.